What is up, people, and welcome to Video Game XD Reviews. Today, we're going to be reviewing and taking a little look at the home theater projector with Bluetooth from RCA. Check that out. Now, this retails for $69.99. That's how much I paid, 70 bucks. This model is called the RPJ-106, I believe. And as you can see on the front, it's got LED, 50,000 hour lamp, Check that's fucking great. Um, gaming ready, 1080p compatible, and up to 150 inches picture size. So it's got some good, uh, uh, good specs on here. And there's the... Basically, it's going to tell you if it's dark in the room, it's going to look way better, which it does. Um, on the side here, it shows a bunch of other specs and all that good old stuff. I don't know if you guys can read all that, but... <clears throat> it basically says built-in Bluetooth, allows you to connect Bluetooth-enabled speakers if you want. Um, it supports 1080p, it supports it, but it actually outputs in just standard resolution, 480p, 480, 480i, which a lot of people, that's a deal breaker, they want the high definition, but honestly, with me, it doesn't bother me. I mean, it bothers me a little that it's kind of blurry, but um, yeah, a lot of people think just because it says 1080p compatible that it is 1080p, but it actually isn't. Um, it just accepts 1080p. HDMI. Um, you can connect a headset to it. Inputs, AV, USB, VGA, TGI card. Two HDMI slots. Supports video formats MPEG-1, MPEG-2, MPEG-4, RM, AVI, MOV, MJPAG, P, e, I can't say that right now. DIVX, DIVX, VOB, MKV. Supports MP3, WMA. So it, Honestly, this thing supports a lot of stuff, like a lot. Um, and check this out: <clears throat> fifty thousand hours of of LED projector lamp life. That means that this is two twenty two point eight years, twenty two point eight years of lifespan. That is insane. Viewing six hours a day. That's viewing six hours a day. Um, but if you want to view it 24 hours a day, it's 5.7 years. So either way, this is going to last you 5 to 22 years lamp life. That is incredible. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the box. It comes with a remote as well, which is very cool. The remote is over here. Looks like that. It takes AAA batteries, two AAAs. Pretty cool. came with a remote. Batteries not included. Yeah. This is what the projector looks like. This actually comes off. You can put on a cap to protect it if you want. Or you can insert this part too. It's got the buttons on here. So if you ever lose your remote, you have buttons on the, the actual system, which is awesome. I hate, I can't stand things where if you lose the remote, you're screwed. hate that stuff. I always liked um, when companies put the buttons on the actual model, you know, like TVs and stuff. It's got a lot of ventula, ventilation. Right there, you can hook up a computer to it. Two HDMI, you get a USB slot, so if you got movies on a USB drive or pictures, you can plug that in. Uh, AV, you need a separate um, extension cable for the AV if you want to plug in old video game consoles. Right there, and what is that? I think that might be an SD card slot right there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I think it's pretty nice. It's not super huge, but it's not super small either. It's kind of in the middle. It's got a decent amount of weight to it. Feels like it's actually well made. Right here, you can actually unscrew that, so if you want to tilt it up like that, you can do that as well. 
So anyways, let's plug this in. Let's see how this looks. I already plugged it in. I know how it looks, but I want to show you guys. So stay tuned. We'll be right back right here on Video Game XD. There we go. We got it hooked up there. Let's turn that down the lights. It's not super dark in here. It looks better when it's like really dark outside, but I put some shades up, so tried my best, but uh, I don't know if you guys can see that there. On the ceiling, because I don't have a projector screen right now, because I'm a cheap ass. <laughs> They're only like $20 on eBay, those projector screens, but um, yeah. You guys can probably see my stupid shadow, though. It's kind of hard to record this, but... I know, it's kind of lopsided. I apologize, you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's on the ceiling. Check out Pluto TV. It's not super sharp, because it's not true HD. But it still works. This is the Zodiac speaking. I am the murderer of a taxi driver over by Washington Street and Maple Street last night. To prove this here, it's a bloodstained piece of his shirt. I am the same man who did in the people in the North Bay area. The SF police could. The speaker on it is like not too horrible, but it's not too great either. But yeah, would I recommend this? Um, the RCA Home Theater Projector with Bluetooth. $69.99 retail price. I'm going to tell you this. For the price, this is a budget projector. So for the price, less than $100. Even though it's not true HD, it's just standard definition, 480p. Um, I think it's cool. I think it's worth it for $70. You can probably find this on eBay for $50. So, honestly, for $50 to $70, something that's not true high def, standard definition. I mean, if you're like me, you're old school, you grew up with VHS, and you're not like, oh, it's gotta be 4K, it's gotta be high def. If, if that's not, like, a big deal to you, I think it's damn worth it. It's fucking cool. It's cool as hell, this thing. I love it. It's like my own theater in my own home. Um... Yeah, if you want true HD, then go the expensive route. I'm sure they have projectors that are 200 to 300 to 400 dollars if you want true high definition. But if you're on a budget, you're trying to find something cheap, but something decent that works and is built well and comes with a remote and all these specs, you know, up to 150 inches, you get 50,000 uh, hours of lifespan, 22.8 years or something like that. That's crazy. For $70, this is damn worth it. I'm going to recommend... I'm going to recommend this. The RCA RPJ-106 Home Theater Projector with Bluetooth. You can actually... I found this at Meyer, a local grocery store we have here in Michigan. But I'm pretty sure you can find it at Walmart or Best Buy as well. You know, I think it's worth it. I'm going to recommend it. I'm going to recommend it if HD is not a big deal to you. Just pretend you're in the 90s before HD came out, and you're good. <laughs> I know, I, don't get me wrong, I love high def, I love watching my Blu-rays, and but it's also cool to watch it on, uh, on like a huge projector screen. Even though it's not HD, it's, it's still huge, and feels like I'm at a movie theater. I like it. I'm going to recommend this. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Follow Video Game XD on Twitter, follow us on Twitch, like us on Facebook. This is Video Game XD Reviews. I will see you next time.